All right, this will be how to transfer contact data as well as all data from your Samsung A11 to another device. And we'll start with contacts. So first of all, go to your contacts app. All right, now there's a couple different ways this can work. So what we can do here is we can hit this little toggle. And you can see if we tap here on this all contacts, these three contacts on here are already on the SIM card. So when we transfer our SIM card to another device, it's actually going to save all of those contacts. We don't really have to do anything. But let's say that it wasn't on the SIM card and we wanted to share these contacts to another device. So you tap over here and you'll hit share contacts. And then you can choose to select which like specific ones. Um, in most cases, you'll probably want to select all. So that's just at the top. So you make sure that's checked. And at the bottom here, it'll say share. We click that. And now you'll have a few different ways in which we can share this. Uh, as you'll notice, it's a contacts.vcf file. So this is a file that you're going to share with a, another device through a, some types of means. So we got quick share, which you can use as long as it's enabled on your other device. If not, you can also just use your email. And you can sh uh, send an email using your existing email. Um, you can also share it to OneDrive if you have that set up, Bluetooth as well. Um, use whatever you feel is best. Um, there's no real right or wrong way to do that. And then what you'll do on your other device is you'll import contacts and you'll import from the VCF file that you have on the new device. So that's contacts. Now let's go over files. So once again, we're going to go to my files app and you'll see there's nothing on the SD card. However, if we are going from this SD card and we're going to transfer that SD card to another device, we can simply move all of our different photos, videos, any files we really want onto the SD card and then transfer it to another device that can accept an SD card and all of those files will be there. But let's say that that's not the case and you want to transfer this to another device. Well, there's a couple things to consider. So this is a Samsung device. So if you have another Samsung device that you're going to be transferring this data to, there's an app called Smart Switch, and that'll be the best way to do this. However, if you happen to be going for a device that isn't a Samsung, you'll want to use another app. So what I recommend doing is going to the Play Store, and I'm not connected here or signed into an account, but what you would do is in the Play Store, when you're signed in, you would search for a data transfer and you would go for a reputable app, one with at least four stars and some pretty good reviews that you can trust. And then just uh, go through the prompts of those different apps and they'll be able to give you the guidance that you need. And that's how to do it.